Okay. One, two, three. All right. We are ready to go. We're ready. So, Tamiko, let's get started with grammar. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to follow like backwards or do you want yeah. to start from? Oh, I think I would prefer, uh, yes. From In last, this, uh, from yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. I saw um, on BBC Learning English um, about using, use the to and the would. Okay. Yeah. Both we used to, to talk about uh, past habits. Yeah, things that we we uh, used to do in the past, but now we we don't do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. And uh, um, would is a little bit um, tricky, I think, because uh, we just use with action verbs. We yeah. can't use with the stative verbs. Yes. And the use the two, we can use both with the um, action verbs or um, stative verbs. Yeah. And I, and I think it's that, that's it related, this grammar. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, you summed up really well. I don't know. It might seem tricky at yeah. first, but after a while, it's actually kind of easy because, like you said, we use used to. Yeah. with all the situations, right? Mm -hmm. But it's nice to start uh, getting familiarized with would because it's used a lot. Yeah. The thing is, we need to use it with action verbs. Yeah. I would go when I was younger, I would go to the club every weekend, I would visit my grandmother, I would do this and that. But we don't say, I would smell the roses. Yeah. Actually, yeah. smell here is an action, but uh, I wouldn't uh, be or I wouldn't, you know, understand, right? Yeah. I wouldn't think, it's things like that. But that's it. Uh, yeah. Are there exercises? Uh, no, right? Yes, but yeah. uh, not in, in this page because, oh, mm -hmm. if you see activity one, two, and three, mm -hmm. this, this, all this about uh, um, use the two and you would. Excellent. I think the, the, the whole section two, it's about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, yeah. all right, you get a lot of practice uh, yeah. <laughs> later on. Okay. Any, yeah. any other comments? No, I think oh. that's it. That's it. What yeah. about the other one, pronouncing oh, version? Yeah, it's about a pronunciation, the, the words. Some words mm -hmm. we, we pronounce with um, um, is, is stress, I think. Yeah. It, and in the first part, it's a noun. And the second part, it's a verb. Yes. And uh, decrease, decre decrease it's, a, it's a noun. And decrease? De decrease. decrease decrease uh -huh. and decrease it's a verb <laughs> yeah so this word here helps the indefinite article a decrease yeah. because there was a decrease right yeah or it decreased decrease now something interesting there are many interesting things about these two words let me just put here if you use two phonetics it two will phonetics. be yeah it will be blue the word will be yeah. blue to show you you saw that right yeah. So this one here as a noun decrease, yeah. and uh, if the stress is here, it's a verb. Mm -hmm. One interesting thing is that the S sounds like an S, not yeah. a Z. We have a, yeah. I have a tendency to say it like a Z, but it's an S sound. So decrease, decrease. decrease. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, Eric, uh, we don't have uh, this in two phonetics. We don't have a, uh, um, for the example. Option. Yes, no, noun and verb. We don't mm. have the, these words um, here. And mm. the, we have two options to pronunciate this word. Mm -hmm. But it's not a noun and verb, yeah? Just the forms to pronunciate the word, I think. Yeah, for example, this one here. Uh, the stress is always in the second syllable. Can you see that? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But there are three different ways to pronounce this word. <laughs> Okay. Director, director, director. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, um, anything 
else about this no, one? No, I think that's it. Yeah, uh, that's very important to pay attention. These are, I think, the most common words or, you know, yeah, yeah. that we use in our everyday lives and uh, have this distinction here. Yeah. Nice. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So let's see what else. Uh, Moving on. Two. Yeah. So you're going to skip the stories and focus on grammar. Yeah. For, okay. So July 18th. No, right? Uh, no. Um, oh, here. Oh, I. I'll be able. I learned, yes. Mm -hmm. Be can be able could and manage it too. Mm. <laughs> It's so interesting. Another student is doing, oops, is studying the same thing. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I recorded her class actually. Actually, she decided that this month of July is the modal verb month yeah. for her. So she's focusing <laughs> on that. It's a lot, yeah. sister. Okay. Um, yeah. Can we use for abilities? You know, uh, I think um, be able, we can use for ability to. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we use with will, would, yeah, we, we use you mean be we able. will be able to, would be able yeah. to. Yeah. And uh, we use um, be able instead of could in um, pre um, affirmative sentence, mm -hmm. positive sentence, I think. And uh, for, for, past single events mm, you know? yeah like in this case here yeah yes. we were able to take a photograph of the lions not we could yeah. take yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. we were able to and it it, it was a uh, new for me <laughs> mm -hmm. um, because yeah because the verb can the verb uh, can and could are very limited you, you can't do much with them if you no. want to talk about I don't know, something continues, I guess, or something in the future. You cannot use can and could, right? Yeah. And manage to, because mm -hmm. I always, I've always um, seen this word, but I, 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 I think I couldn't use it when mm -hmm. I was making a phrase, I think. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, manage to, it's for something difficult. <clears throat> And very successful. I, I've never thought about it. Yeah, it's. I think it's used also with something a single event. Yeah. Something difficult. Yeah. And then you manage to do. Can you make a sentence now using that? Um, I manage. I managed to climb the um, highest highest uh, yeah. mountain um, of Brazil. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> awesome, awesome sentence. Yeah, like that. yeah, it, I managed it, to do it. And it's true. <laughs> it's true, yeah, that's a brilliant <laughs> sentence. Yeah. I managed to, to do it, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. and, Very um, nice. What else? Yeah. Uh, I think that that's it. Man, uh, could, uh, mm -hmm. um, could uh, for past events, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and um, did the quiz? Oh yes, I did. Problems I did. here? No, no, no. no. Remember, uh, Tamiko, to use to do this. I don't know if you've been doing this, but I, I always talk about this because I love it. Manage, um, or don't manage to. To. Sure. And, and use the news to get example sentences from here. Yeah. For example, how Kamala Harris managed to upset Taylor Swift fans this week. <laughs> this is an interesting <laughs> sentence. Uh, yeah. How one fan managed to sneak courtside into home games, blah, blah, blah. And do, in compare with could and mm -hmm. can. Right? And can. Yeah. Healing, Obamacare could turn back the clock on blah, blah, blah. Britain's new liberal Democrats leader could be a kingmaker. And compare the use. So this, this is, I think, the fastest way to compare the usage of these um, words because it's difficult to get a text and find mm -hmm. all of them in a single text, right? So I think yeah. I like this kind of search, okay? Okay. But there is a video here too. Okay, uh, yeah. a video in which 
talks about the difference. The and could be able to and manage to. Excellent. Okay. Because when I, I I always like to do this. I because I'm doing the the course at BBC, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I always watch a video too, just to, to fix it. Yes, to fix yeah. it in my mind Wonderful. too. Wonderful. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Next topic. Next. Uh, oh, here. Oh, yes. He looks sleepy. He must have stayed up late at night mm -hmm. yesterday. When All I use. Again. Yeah, when I use, uh, he must have stayed. Uh, I can use with, uh, can I use with uh, yesterday with a time expression or, yeah? Yes, yeah, it isn't, uh, because the point of this uh, structure is mm -hmm. to show um, a supposition. Ah, yeah. Not a possibility, is your, it's an assumption. Yes. It's something that you are considering possibilities. Yes. Right. Yes. So yeah. there are many possibilities. He must have stayed up late uh, at night yesterday. But then, you, when I use "must have mm -hmm. stayed," for example, I'm almost sure. I think, or um, I'm not. Yeah, there yeah. is a level, there is a difference. Uh, Taina said the same thing. She was comparing that with yeah. other modal verbs, uh -huh. and there. Some and she found out that it varies. Some people will say certain things, other people will say other things. Yeah. In, in terms of um, level of uh, possibility and uh, you know and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, being sure or not. But he must have said it's quite it's quite strong. It's you're almost there. You know, okay. it's probably yeah. the probability is very high. Okay. Okay. So okay. it's something that you are. It's uh, most certainly that. Okay. That's probably what happened. Okay. But then you need to use a time expression that refers to the past because this refers to the past. Okay. 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 What else? Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, here. oh, here. Oh, my God, it's difficult. <laughs> Is this the same topic or a lot of things for the same topic? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hyphenation, hyphenation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, because I've always um, seen, for example, some words um, uh -huh. like um, easygoing uh -huh. um, and here in BBC, they, they they said, for example, when we use a hyphenate, um, they, they said comp, com, compound, compound adjective. Oh, oh, compound yeah, adjective. Compound okay. Noun. Yeah. And you, you, uh, you need to put a noun after it. After? Yeah. Yeah. yeah after after yeah. it. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and for example, well-respected politicians, um, we use compound noun like that. Mm -hmm. But when we use, uh, it, like here, the politicians were well-respected, we mm -hmm. don't use the, the hyphen, hyphen, hyphen mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And it was new for me because I've always seen this uh, on the news, for example, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't uh, uh, know why th this was um, this way. I think, mm -hmm. and some sometimes I saw it. Sometimes I saw in the, the yeah. another way. Yeah, and but was, but yeah. here you have to be careful. Yeah, because this I don't know. I think this has a bit to do with style, and this is a British site. Yeah. I don't know if the rules are the same for American English. Yeah. There might be a variation. I'm not sure. Yeah, and uh, I put on the words too because I mm -hmm. saw an angle, it, um, a phrase, mm -hmm. a phrase, no, a sentence, mm -hmm. a sentence uh -huh. with um, this different. Ah, okay. But I'm not sure why. But I, I don't put here. Ah, uh, okay. 
Let me see. Yeah, it's nice to, to try to observe that. Let's see if I can get just the hyphen. <laughs> I don't know if this will... <coughs> oh, no. Just a minus. Okay. Yeah. But this is interesting. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes if you have an edge... Always, sometimes I always... Um, I always search on the internet if there is some some difference on in British and uh, American but English. You used other, you compared with other links, right? So did yeah, you find out yeah. the same? Are the, are the rules the same? Yeah, yeah, the same. But so it's individual, individual, it's a, it's a British too, yeah? <laughs> and video, uh, no, it depends because the teachers come from all over the world. Mm, okay. So there are Canadian teachers, there are English teachers, I think. Oh, there is one that is from Ireland, I think. The okay. one with uh, red hair, the red haired teacher. This one here, I think he's American or Canadian. Because mm. I think um, Engvid is um, that the head headquarters, I don't know how to call it, is in Canada, somewhere in Canada. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. But what about uh, Grammar Girl? Did you like Grammar Girl? Yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, I think it, it's the, the same what, um, as I told you. The, the noun we, we have to put after it. But this is um, interesting, right? Like when you have yeah. an adjective or adverb plus a present participle, ing yeah. word, we use yeah. it. Ages and numbers before yeah. a noun. Yeah. Numbers. Because, okay. for example, an uh, 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 eight, eight year old boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's with hyphen. Yes, yeah. it's an adjective with yeah. hyphen, yeah. Uh, um, and they, if I say N8, because it's the sound of the word, right? So it's N, yeah. eight-year-old yeah. boy. Yeah, N8. Um, oh, you you are already, I think, you've, you are, you've already told, told, I think, in one live in your life about uh, um, numbers from 21 to 99 we use yeah. hyphen yes yeah. i remember that. Yeah. yeah use the hyphens with numbers and these combinations adjectives or adverbs with a noun last minute yeah. or a noun and an adjective or world famous this is so yeah. interesting yeah. adverb noun best parts poll yeah before well respected noun. yeah and here it's interesting because when we use an ad, adverb adverb ending in li, we don't mm -hmm. use hyphen. Ah, well, oh here the last one. Yeah, a carefully written letter. Yes. Yeah. The letter was carefully we, written. We don't use. We yeah. don't use. So cool. Very nice. It's so nice of you to be do following the 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 course because there are so many things right to learn yeah yeah i finished the lower inter intermediate uh -huh, and wow. i i start the intermediate level <laughs> oh congrats congratulations that's Thank awesome you. <laughs> i Thank love you. that awesome very good okay anything else about hyphens no i think that's it that's it okay so let's continue now um, um... Oh, it's a it's a test. Um, here. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. That's it. And the time expressions mm -hmm. when the preposition. Yeah. The wait. Okay. At, mm -hmm. On and uh, in. So we use at with. Um, a specific time, for example, at uh, nine o'clock, at uh, two thirty p.m. I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, points of the day at noon, at midnight, um, at midday. Um, points of the day when things happen at breakfast, at lunch, at dinner, 
and uh, specific is day, but we can't, if, if you use, for example, Easter day, we use on. Yes, but if you if, mention the word day, you have to use Yeah, <laughs> and if it, we use Easter, Christmas, we use at. Uh-huh, yeah. And here it's interesting because mm -hmm. weekend, at the weekend, it's British. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and on the weekend, it's American. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Excellent, yeah. that's it. <laughs> and yeah. on, we use with a specific date mm -hmm. um, on 30 May, on, on 2nd July, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a specific days, like I, I said, on Christmas Day, on New Year's Eve, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And uh, with uh, days of uh, the weekend, on mm -hmm. Monday, on... Monday, yeah, yeah. Oh. This is so important because this is what we use the most, <clears throat> and people usually forget or use another preposition. So it's on, on with days. Yeah. And in, in we use with uh, part of the day in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, with seasons, in spring, in summer, and years. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very good. And the present and, perfect continuous. And in months too. I don't months put too. It, yeah. yeah. Yeah, months too. Oh, present perfect continuous. I think it's um, it's easy, but at the same time, it's trick because sometimes <laughs> I don't know uh. when to use present perfect simple and present uh -huh. perfect continuous. For example, mm. I've lived here in Sao Paulo since um, 2010. Mm -hmm. it, it's, 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 it's happening yet, yeah? No, both are fine, both are correct, but they have uh, a slight difference in meaning, or I, I mean emphasis, the emphasis is different. So you can say, I have lived in Sao Paulo since 2010. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, or I've been living in Sao Paulo since 2010. Yeah. Uh, which one do you think puts more emphasis on the action? I've been, uh, I've been living. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. That, that's the difference. Yeah. So it depends. It's up to you. If you want to put more emphasis on the action, you use the continuous form. Yeah. Okay. But you have to pay attention because you can only use continuous forms with certain verbs, not all uh, of them. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right. For example, yeah. no, we can use. <laughs> yeah, understand, no, right? Be... Mental state. Yes, yes, stative yeah. verbs, you know. Yeah. But it's always like that, not just present perfect continuous. Any continuous forms, you have to pay attention because it's different. For example, love, like. We use that in Portuguese, amando, gostando, estou amando, estou gostando, but in English we in don't English, do that. Yeah. We don't do that according to the grammar, but you will see it online. <laughs> you yeah. will see it uh, in the comments, you know, everywhere. Yeah. Facebook, yeah. Instagram, tw uh, tweets. Tweets, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's it. We use the present perfect continuous when... Uh, um, a event or yes happened in the past and continues until now, yeah. Um, and we use a present perfect continuous to talk about something that um, finished recently. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've been I've been eating pizza. <laughs> So I have ketchup on my shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why do you have yeah. the, that ketchup on your shirt? Oh, I've yeah. been eating pizza. <laughs> yeah. It, and uh, I think that's it for present perfect continuous. Yeah. Uh, just uh, to um, these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just check something here. Have been news. Uh, so here it's the simple form. I don't know if the simple form is more common, like we have been left to our fate, uh, yeah. may have been built. I, I, I think I, 
I see more more present perfect simple in news on news than mm -hmm. than present perfect continuous. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it makes sense because they talk about the event, the focus, the emphasis is on what type of event happened. Yeah. Or yeah. even even if it's happening until now. It's not the 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 action itself, the continuation of the action. But here, for example, we have may have been using, right? And here it's there is even the modal mm -hmm. verb may. Yeah. To show possibility. Possibility. So child, yeah. Child rescued near Port Marnock Beach may, may have, have been, been using this link. thing here, Lilo. Don't know what that is. Yeah. Very nice. Anything else about this? Oh, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. So, did you practice pronunciation? Did you watch any videos? Oh, with pronunciation, I just watched the team. I, I don't remember the um, the name. Right, uh, you the site you oh, Rachel. You oh yes, Rachel. Yes, this one. Rachel. Oh, oh okay. Thank you. <laughs> this is Rachel's English. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, I watched today the teams when we we said a word, for example, finished in T, and the next one is with P. Let me see if I can find. It. Did you put the link here or not? Oh, uh, yes, this one. Yeah. I found it. Uh huh. So what happens when one word ends in? We link the sound. We we, the we sound. don't we don't pronounce. Yeah, it's a simulation. Yeah. We we don't pronounce T. We just pronounce P. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It's white white piece of yeah. paper. This is so it's cool. I think this is so cool. Don't you think? Yeah, I think. <laughs> It's hard. I think <laughs> the, the the first time I thought, oh my gosh, but it, it's. It's it, it's easier now because yeah. sometimes when I when I I'm watching TV or a series, sometimes I can't under, understand what they they are they they said, for example. But I think it's because the this assimilation. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, because not, not just this, but all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes we we tend we tend to to pay attention the words sep mm. separate separately separately yes yes separately yeah exactly and uh, yeah they they don't they don't say like that separately this is why this is so helpful and yeah. Rachel teaches this too you will find many of her videos in oh, which she okay. explains this but I think it's important to watch all Tim's videos first. You know, mm -hmm. finish the, yeah. the series first and then start with uh, Rachel so you don't get too confused. Yeah. So one thing that you can do, let's see if it's possible. Um, let me get an article. I don't know if it will work, but for example, you can get an article. My computer is a little weird now. And paste it onto phonetics like that. Mm, and okay. then you do this, you uh, you press Ctrl F, space yeah. P, space mm. P, and then you see if there is a, oh my god, a T sound, <laughs> no, it didn't mark the words, yeah, yeah. try um, this one, ah, it's because it's inside, maybe, I think it's the, just the, let me try one more time if it doesn't work. Ah, yeah, it's not showing here. I don't know. Sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't show. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't, you don't have, don't, or don't need to do this. You can just uh, do this here. So, again, Control F, Space P. Space P. And oh, then okay. you examine here what happens. Okay. You can find a TP sound, you know, oh my. Mm -hmm. or something weird here. Uh, so it's not common. You can see here that it's not so common. Same yeah. problem. Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, here. How do you Signif say this? Signif significant 
problems, significant problems. Significant, significant problems. Yeah, significant this is problems. a simulation of tea. Yeah. Significant problems. Significant problems. It's yeah. almost like a glottal T. Yeah. Right? <laughs> significant problems. Uh, let's see if we can find another one. See, it's, it's not so common. Yeah. But, oh, oh. Here. 58 people. 58 people. 58. 58 people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think this is so cool. Nice. So you can do that. Okay. 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 To practice. To practice. More. And you can copy. You can get the examples from the text, for example, mm -hmm. this part here, and, and put. Copy. Yeah, as examples for you to help you remember. Uh, okay, okay. Like this. Yeah. You make it's your nice. own list. Yeah. Uh, so you said you watched another one? Uh, no. Just That's the only just one, this. right? Yeah, just the okay. only one. Yeah. So let's talk about the stories. <laughs> let's talk about Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's start with uh, millions of jellyfish. 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 Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> let me. I will put in my in my computer because oh, yeah. people saw. People saw millions of jellyfish floating near the shore of P of a pier in Russia. Mm -hmm. There are so there were so many of them that the water looked as if it was raining. Mm -hmm. This sight is an extremely rare phenomenon, and the reason for its occurrence remains unknown. Mm -hmm. People believe that jellyfish have roamed, roamed mm -hmm. the seas uh, for between five, 500 and 700 million years. Brilliant. Excellent. You practice with two phonetics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, was there any difficult word for you to pronounce? New Flo word? Floating. Flo floating. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. And Roamed, roamed, roamed. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Uh, so, what is a pier? Pier. It's a uh, like a dock, dock, dock. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that dock. It's like dock an extension. Dock. Yeah, a dock, a dock, a dock. dock yeah, an extension dock. of. Uh, it's like a path that goes yeah. inside the, the sea, right? Yeah. That's it. Uh, phenomenon. Phenomenon is singular, and then you have phenomena, which is phenomena. plural. You yeah. have occurrence, occurrence, and roam. What about this word to roam? I like that. To roam, it's like to travel all of the the sea. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. Not just in the sea, anywhere. You can say that a person is roaming. Okay. You know. Against uh, an animal is roaming. You're moving around all over. Okay. To roam. Um, yes. What do you think about this news? Um, I think interesting, but I think um, I don't know what's happening with the the nature. I think because I saw yesterday on Fantástico. Yeah. Uh, here in Brazil, um, the um, a surfaced a surfaced surfer um, surfer a surfer uh, saw a jellyfish an Australian jellyfish it wow. was it was beautiful and uh, huge mm -hmm. and uh, it's colorful it's 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 beautiful. But um, this animal, how can I say, came up? Was burned. I get burned, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's burned. It's dangerous, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's dangerous. It burned. And, uh, so it was stranded. Stranded means it kind of got lost. Yeah. And ended up here in Brazil. And, I don't know. Do you yeah. think there is a connection with climate change? Yeah, I think. 
I think these kind of things that uh, are happening all over the world, and I think it's all related with um, climate change. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, um, uh, I think the, all all these things it's related with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I, I I suspect that too. Yeah. Uh, Amigo, have you been to the sea? Have you been to the to the coast? Have you seen a jellyfish? Uh, I've Up I've close? saw I've seen uh, um, jellyfish in Arraial do Cabo. I don't know if you if you Arraial do Cabo is in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. It's uh -huh. in, uh -huh. Oh yeah, it's they have uh, it's common. Yeah, in that area, in that part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you were never burned. No, no. Very <laughs> jellyfish. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very nice. Anything else you want? To, did you watch the video? Yeah, I watched it, and it's nice because it's. Oh my God. Yeah, the water is uh, white. <laughs> uh, it, it looks. It's milky, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. Oh. Amazing. Nice. Any anything else you want to say about the story? No, I think that's okay. it. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. All right. The next story. The okay. Next... There are so many stories. The next one is this yes, one. Yes, it's about Amazon. Okay. Rainforest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, rainforest. Because here in Brazil, we are having some problems or troubles. I think with the Amazon. <laughs> Um, because um, 60 percent of the Amazon rainforest is in Brazil mm -hmm. and scientists sa say that it's very important for the planet. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> however, people are cutting down the trees there. Uh, yeah. this, this year in May and June, they cut down, they cut down more trees than last year. Um, a scientist from the organization Amazon says that the country's current president is making the situation worse. Mm -hmm. The president called for development in the Amazon. And he also said that he wanted mining in protected reserves. Reserves? Reserves, yeah. Reserves, he, yes. He doesn't care if the people mm -hmm. who live there want the mines or not. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah, he wants <laughs> he wants uh, money. We need money. To yeah. be honest, we need money right now in the country. Yeah, but I don't know if this is the best way. This is a very oh my God, I don't know how to describe this. Yeah, <laughs> this way to to get money. But anyway, these numbers are so scary. Did you see? Yeah. How much did the oh? Let's use those verbs: increase, decrease. Yeah. Actually, the verb used here is go up, right? So yeah. how how much did the deforestation go up uh, in May compared to the same month a year ago? Uh, let me see. Oh, 34 percent. 34 percent. Yeah. What about June? Uh, 80. Oh my gosh, <laughs> percent. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, I think in, in two years it will all be gone. Yeah, I don't know if you know, but there is a huge tower. I think um, two or three in in Amazon. Um, they they build this this huge tower just to control the Amazon, you know, the Amazon rainforest. To, just to, to protect against uh, the destruction. Not, the not to protect, not to protect. I think to to know what is happening in the rainforest, I think. Oh, okay, I, I didn't know about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw it in um, in a series. I think uh, one strange rock, one uh -huh. strange rock. It it's uh, with Will Smith. It's uh -huh. interesting because it's a, it's about nature, uh -huh. um, sun, the earth, uh, 
um, all the things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, because I don't know, uh, it's not just us who have a say in the deforestation and destruction of the Amazon rainforest, because the international community are concerned yeah. because they, they depend on this forest yeah, to and, have and, clean air. And you know why? For example, jellyfish, I think this is happening because of that, because we yeah. are just um, de devastating everything, I think, mm -hmm. uh, about this deforestation, yeah? Deforestation, deforestation. Yeah. Deforestation, yeah. Yes. I think it just related with it. Because I things think. are connected, things are yeah. not separated, like the jellyfish are there, the rain, the Amazon rainforest forest is here, everything is connected. Yeah. If you yeah. do something, that, if there is an imbalance somewhere, it will affect the whole planet somehow, yeah. right? So, and the, the, the thing is, we are, humankind is, is speeding up the process. Yeah. He's speeding up the process. <laughs> no, I, and I don't understand. This is not logical. But anyway. Yeah. It's interesting. What about the vocabulary? So deforestation is interesting because there is no L, no S, right? Deforestation. Yeah, deforestation. Development. Development. A yeah. lot of long words here. And? Mining. Mining, mining too. Mining, yes. Environmentalists. Yeah, yeah, environmentalists. Excellent. All right. Tamiko, is there more? Because I don't know if we have time. We need to. Uh, I think, oh, oh squirrel. Just, squirrel. Oh, time. because I have problem with this word. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you take it's a look squirrel. at your phonetics? Yeah, yeah. It's squirrel. <laughs> Let me put this here because it's never too much. So. Yeah, everybody has. And this word Squirrel. in other languages is even worse. In German, it's almost impossible to pronounce. Yeah. But here, what you have, it's yeah, when you look at the symbols, not that hard, right? You have yeah. a squirrel. A squirrel. A squirrel. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Squirrel. And yeah. the first syllable is a stressed one. So it's squirrel. 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 Yeah, squirrel. there you go. <laughs> and <laughs> what is the story about? Oh, uh, it's it was a uh, attack. <laughs> oh, I <swear. laughs> Who attacked I, what? Yeah, or, I saw attack squirrel attack um um police officer. <laughs> oh, really? Where? In New really? York? Yeah. <laughs> um, a squirrel broke into a home in New York and started <laughs> eating oh cookies. Okay. Uh, the residents could not handle. The little criminal, so they called the police. So when cute. they entered the kitchen, the squirrel jumped at one of the officers to attack him. His, bo his body camera captured captured oh. the moment. Uh, the footage looks like dramatic, but the attack only made the officers laugh. The little animal <laughs> then <laughs> ran ran out. A window. Oh yeah. my god. But this it is was, not the video, right? Of the body camera. Yeah, oh, this it, is the body camera. Yeah, but it, it, it's, <laughs> it's, um, oh my god. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> They're laughing. Yeah. Oh, and it's going away. <laughs> oh, so there is a, a special verb here. You said the jump. But jump. there is a sophisticated verb here that you can use instead of jump. Oh, what is it's it? a la la lounge. lounge. Lunge. 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 Yeah, lunge. Yes. So lunge. the pet lunged at. Right? Lunged, lunged at. Itself. Yeah. It jogou, né? It lunged itself. Yeah, it lunged. Ah, yeah. very nice. What about this? There are difficult words here. What about dispatch? Or the police dispatched. Dispatched. Oh, I put here. Let me see. Oh, it's um like like sound sound. I think it's yes. it's related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send someone to do something. Yeah, somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
And then the hilarity of the situation. It was a hilarious situation. Yes. It's right? uh, yeah, it's a funny situation. Yes. So yeah, remember, I think it was with you. We saw adjectives like normal adjectives and extreme adjectives. Yeah. Remember that? So mm -hmm. we wouldn't say very hilarious, but yeah. we can say absolutely hilarious to describe sure. the video. Uh, we can say very funny, but absolutely hilarious or quite hilarious. Yeah, okay. Right. Very good. Nice. What else, Tamiko? I think that's it. That's it, but you watched a lot of Velo videos. Yeah, because I I just um I'm just um um oh my god <laughs> practicing my listening yeah <laughs> what about uh, yeah. shadowing have you been practicing shadowing too yeah with uh, news in level because I think it's it's easier for okay. me news in level because this LO they speak um fast at normal and, speed yeah normal speak and. Uh, News in level, it's, it's lower. I, yeah. I, I can pay attention I can at the sounds. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah, practice. Just... I can practice shadowing with news in level, but this I can't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. I can't yet. Uh, remember that there is always uh, VOA news too, but yeah. the articles are long. But you can work with just one paragraph. You don't need to yeah. do. The practice I, with the whole thing. I watched one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about um, butterflies, butterfly effect. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have already heard about it. Butterfly, yes, I have. I don't know much about it, but I heard uh, this phrase. Yeah. Well, you saw that where? On Voa News? You yeah, know? in Voa News, yeah. Ah, okay. Tell me, tell me about it. Uh, let me open here because I put oh and chain reactions about yeah chain reactions, chain reactions yeah mm -hmm. oh the the first one oh here the butterfly effect effect mm -hmm. it's one a small action can lead to major events mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, and every small, small decision you make can have a butterfly effect in your own life. Mm -hmm. And we can uh, replace, I think it's the word, um, replace butterfly effect with, with ripple, ripple effect, domino mm -hmm. effect, ah, snowball nice. effect. But cool. it's, it's interesting because... Um, in the um, we can't use both butterfly effects ripple effects and domino effects we can use with good and bad situations uh -huh. you know? uh -huh. but it's noble effect we just use with bad things yeah yeah it's <laughs> when so some things get uh -huh. worse 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because I know it, it's used with uh, negative situations, but sometimes it's the best image for me. And I always say it's, a, it's like a snowball, but yeah. it's a positive snowball. <laughs> I always explain that it's something, it's a positive snowball because it yeah. tends to be, it tends to be used in a negative way. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we can use both either informal or in informal situation. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. Another another expression is to have a is to have butterflies in your stomach. Oh yeah, what does it mean? Uh, when we feel nervous, nervous, mm -hmm. nervous, yeah. nervous, <laughs> nervous. Uh, um, we feel butterflies in our stomach. I think. Yeah. Um, it's uh, anxious, I think, it's something like that. Yeah, yeah, it has to do with anxiety, before a presentation, Yeah, right? before, before our class. <laughs> before our class. <laughs> the, 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 first, the first class, I think. The I, first class? Yes, I had butterflies in my stomach. 
But it's funny because you asked me about that last time, if I feel yeah. nervous before a class. And I do feel before my classes, I, I started paying attention. Uh, I don't know, minutes or seconds before I see the teacher, I feel that way, it's so weird. And then when we start talking, it goes away, that feeling goes yeah. away. But yeah. I always feel that way. And I hear uh, like actors and actresses, they say that it doesn't matter how much experience you have on stage, you always feel that you have that butterflies in your stomach. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter how old you are, like Fernanda, Fernanda Montenegro, for example, she probably still feels that every time yeah. she's yeah. about to enter the stage. Yeah. So it, it's something. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's interesting to connect with that image, right? To have butterflies in your Yeah. Stomach. And in spoken English, we just uh, we can just say we have butterflies. And all it's uh, the people will understand. Ah, uh, yeah, you know? because it's so used. Yeah, because yeah. it's uh, a lot of people use it. People know this expression, so you yeah. can shorten it. So I have butterflies. I've got butterflies. Yeah, yeah. and an, a new word for me it was flutter. flutter. I was going to ask you about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, flutter. It's when you move. When you know when an <laughs> animal. <laughs> Uh, an insect. <laughs> yeah, move uh -huh. their wings um, uh -huh. oh, back and forth, yes. forth. Yes. It's interesting, back and forth. Back and forth, and very fast. Yeah, very fast, quickly, mm -hmm. it's interesting. Yeah. And uh, if we say, oh, you, uh, you are a social butterfly. Ah, it's, yeah. It's interesting too because if if you think a butterfly uh -huh. can't spend much time in one place, yeah, and a person who we are describing like social butterfly, uh -huh. uh, they don't spend much time in a um, in a place, and they like uh, to be with a lot of friends and uh -huh. a lot of social engagements too. It's interesting. Yeah. 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 They are never still quiet, right? In one yeah. place, like you said, they're always on the move, yeah. uh, meeting new people or people they are friends with. So are you a social butterfly, Tamiko? Uh, not like that. I'm, I'm not at all. <laughs> not a social butterfly but, at all. But, yeah. But sometimes I try to be, uh -huh. but not, yeah. uh, it's not my personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes we again we need to find the balance, right? Yeah, not to be away from people all the time, that's not good. But um yeah, to to, to talk to people, right? This is important. We talk, we say that people who like parties at parties, yeah, you parties. Can see people behaving this yes. way, a social butterfly. Very nice, wonderful class. I mean, a great job. I like yeah. that the variety. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. I the next class, I you try to put everything. For example, grammar. Oh, this one drop out and the drop. Yeah. Uh -huh. For example, as I um, um, I was doing the course at Yaz, you know, but I stopped it. Hmm. I can say, can I say drop out or no? I think it's used mostly with high school, mm, not with okay. courses. I don't know if okay. you can use it with a, and uh, you finished one part. Yeah, once, yeah, right? one it's part. It's not that you yeah. left in the middle. Yeah, but I, 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 I didn't finish the, um, the whole course, you know, just on a part of the course. Yeah, but I, I think it would be, you wouldn't use it with a, this kind of course. Ah, uh, okay. It's mostly, with high yeah, it, it's used, yeah, college. It says mm -hmm. here, abandon a course of study, but yeah. I don't know if these kind of courses are considered, are, you know, yeah. you usually drop out of college or high school. This yeah. is the most common. Or has rejected conventional society to pursue. Yeah, not that. Um, 
Yeah, so I I don't know. Here, uh, he dropped out of school, okay? Mm -hmm. He dropped out of the race after mm. two laps. But here he yeah. left in the middle. He abandoned in the middle. something. He didn't finish. He didn't complete oh, uh, okay. something, you know? So yeah. you finished the semester. I don't know if you would be... Because this is a very strong word. Very negative yeah. and very strong. Yeah, I see. Yeah. But there are many things we didn't talk about today. If you want, we can continue next time. Here, yeah. this part. And also, I saw something here creeping yeah. to... You can separate. So try to cluster everything. All the grammar points here. Okay. The pronunciation here. And the uh, stories. Okay. okay. I will do it. Okay. Wonderful. Great. Uh, very Thank nice to you. Thank, Thank you, you, Erica. Have a great week, a great weekend, and I'll see you, you next too. time. You too. Have a good night. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.